So our au pair is close to landing in Atlanta. I am going to go pick her up um, at the airport. I'm about to leave and fight traffic up here, but I wanted to show you the room that we made. So we actually have, or I'm entering from the outside as you can see, um, because we have a room of our garage that is a perfect au pair suite. Um, she doesn't have a kitchen or anything like that up here. It's just a room in the bathroom. But that means she's got a space that's like in our house, but also separate, which is gonna be great. You do have to go through the house to get to it, but I'm really excited for this. So here is the room tour. We're gonna go in. Of course, she has a door that locks. And here it is. So before, this had a bed. It had carpet that was super dirty. So we've redone the flooring, which needed to happen anyway. And then we've got some new things. The rug is new. Everything over in this little microwave area is new. But all the rest of this was actually just repurposed from what was already in our home. So just tried to make it a little colorful. Jack helped put up these paper flowers. Um, we bought some sea tables and painted the tops of them to try to get some pops of color. Um, so we've got that coral um, salmon -y color coming in this chair we had before. And I hate the fabric in here, but I didn't want to pay to recover a chair. So this is where we are. Um, so she's got a desk where she can sit and work and hang out a little mini fridge with a coffee station over here under the microwave. There is a bin in the middle for snacks and some storage and then a little TV sitting area. <laughs> we actually, so this is really silly. It will not be this way permanently, but we couldn't. So what we did, we had this dresser and we just repainted it so that it would fit here. Then we changed the hardware, but we didn't have the back plates to finish the hardware on the top. So right now it's just ribbon until those come in because they're back ordered. So this is her little suite. A couple of tips that I think are really good if you're trying to make a room for someone. And the closet, we're using systems from the container store. So these are Alpha closet systems. Um, what's great about them is because everything's on these little bars, they're totally customizable. So if she needs more hanging space, we can move this up and just get the kinds that have hangers underneath. Uh, if she needs more drawers, we can add drawers. Whatever it is that's needed is really easy to add. And then we have this shoe rack um, for shoes, umbrellas, whatever she wants, some scarves, anything she wants to put in here. And then we got this wall mount um, jewelry hanger. I think this is from Ikea. Um, and so it opens, if I can open it, and it has jewelry storage. So, I mean, it's not like anything fancy. It certainly bangs against the door, which is annoying, but it's a really cool feature for trying to make a lot out of just a little bit of space, which I think is great because we've really given her like a whole loft department minus a kitchen up here. And with the microwave and the coffee area and the little mini fridge, and snack stations and you know we, we've really she's got her own space she doesn't have to come down to ours all the time on days off if she just wants independent time and I really think that's that's great trying to blend wires in a little bit with some plants um, and then I'll just show you the world's tiniest bathroom but I think this is the benefit of someone coming from Europe where they're used to tiny bathrooms <laughs> um, so we just put lots of bins over here and of course we got things for her like a hair dryer and flat iron because those don't usually do well um, on converters for power in a different country um, and then we've gotten her a lot of just basic toiletries and then under the sink we're keeping cleaning supplies because she will need those and she just has this tiny little space that's all her own so I'm super excited um, I think this is really cool and yeah I, I hope she likes it I hope she is excited to see it um, because I definitely put some time into trying to make it feel homey and welcoming because I mean this has to be so scary you know you're you're leaving your family and your friends and our repair space a boyfriend 
um, and you're going to a country you've never traveled to, at least in her case, and you're living with a family who you've only met via Zoom, and that's that's gotta be terrifying. So I just wanted it to feel warm and cozy for her, and I hope, I hope I succeeded.